Hi, I'm Alok, uh, part of Tata Com's India IoT business unit, uh, and it's great to be talking to all of you and talking about what we are doing as a business, what's happening in the world of IoT, and how do we want to engage with you? How do we want to uh, work with you over the next few months as we go along? What I'm going to talk about is what are the trends and opportunities in IoT. Uh, at a very broad macro level uh, and then how can uh, individuals, teams, startups, how can we use this opportunity, how, how can we solve real life problems and uh, deliver value to the customer. If you think about overall uh, opportunities in IoTs, it's it's pretty massive. Uh, all the way from, uh, from measuring something, you know, just a simple measurement and display to actually collecting all of the information, analyzing it and using that analysis to act on the information that has come in. So that's the whole idea of, uh, about IoT. It's basically you're making everything that you can see around in this world. And, and I actually mean that, that everything that you see, everything that you interact with, making that intelligent. So that's sort of a very wide and high sounding kind of opportunity that's available. But that's the reality of IoT. IoT, you know, you can think consumer solutions, you can think business solutions, you can think industrial settings, you can think of any kind of setting and you can create a, a solution that sort of delivers value to that particular customer. But while I've talked about a very broad uh, definition of IoT, eventually what are the things that are being brought together? So let me, let me simplify that to the basics because sometimes even in IoT one can get caught in the hype. Um, the basics of an IoT, I think of three pieces. So there is a device. What do I mean by a device? It's basically a sensor. There is no internet of things. There is no analysis. There is no action till you've actually collected the data. So the device is actually a very critical piece. The sensor that you're going to have, the sensor that you're going to install. I'll talk a little bit more about it, but in some ways that's where a lot of the opportunities are because several times people get caught, uh, people get caught in, in, in looking at the analytics, uh, people get caught in, in, in going to, to the final uh, outcome, but forget the fact that it's the devices uh, that need to work properly. And here we are talking of thousands, tens of thousands and millions of devices and sensors. We're talking about conditions where that sensors, where that sensor, once you put it in, it needs to work flawlessly. It needs to be also at an extremely low price point. You're talking a few tens of rupees. You're talking a few hundred rupees. You're not talking of very expensive things here. The second element is once you put all of these things together, all of these sensors, how do you manage them? How do you make sure that the data that comes out of them, you're actually able to capture the data? Don't worry about that. That's where players like ours, we actually provide a full platform to collect all of this data and present this data to you so that you can play around with it. The final thing, and this is something, uh, you know, again, it could vary in many ways. This is something you can have a simple application where you just display the data. And, and and you have to think of one thing that this is not something that, that is a very trivial thing. Even just measuring something, even just bringing something and presenting it to a, to a customer is actually a lot of value. So just get, getting that data, managing it and presenting it at a dashboard. Sometimes it sounds very simple, but once you actually implement it, that's a lot of value. Then you can move further. You can do analytics on it. Of course, analytics, while it's easy to talk about, the reality is that Analytics requires a lot of data. So you have to collect data. You have to have the right amount of data available to be able to predict trends and so on and so forth. But you can use that then to uh, move into the action side. What is action? You've got the data, you've got some alerts, you've analyzed it. And then now you want the devices or the machines or the, or the people to actually use it to take action. So IoT actually brings all of these together. The opportunity, if you think about it, is across all of these things. You can look at devices, you can look at applications, you can look at analytics. But for a customer, the value is when you bring all of these together. And in fact, that is exactly what is happening right now. Uh, and that's how IoT is taking off. IoT has been talked about for a while, but I can tell you that, that you know, sitting in action, talking to customers, talking to uh, companies, talking to startups, it's all coming together. And I think that's that's important. All of these pieces come together and I described the three pieces, there could be more pieces also. All of these come together 
to create value for the customer so just to conclude uh, this challenge that we are running is about bringing disruptive innovation and value together in some ways oxymorons and opposing and that's where we look forward to young teams like you to bringing disruptive innovation and value together uh, we are confident that you are the ones you are the creative teams that will bring these two things together uh, we look forward to working with all of you we look forward to having more and more of you participate in this innovative challenge we are quite excited about it we are going all across the country uh, meeting several teams talking to many colleges across the country and we look forward to working with all of you we look forward to supporting all of you in some ways this would be learning for us as well because we do expect that young teams like you bring out the creative juices bring out the kind of uh, solutions that will solve the tough problems that are there in india wish you all the best and look forward to interacting with all of you very closely